coming to you live from the Walnuts compound in the great state of Wisconsin. Today I'm going to be going over my Shameless Entertainment DVD and Blu-ray collection. I have uh, 55 titles to show and I'm going to show you guys some of the reversible covers, talk a little bit about certain titles. I'm not going to dwell too much on each particular edition because I don't want the video to be too long. I just want to kind of have a filler video here. I don't really have anything new to show. Um, and I did a shameless entertainment overview. I think it was about over a year ago now So I did pick up some more stuff since then I do have the entire line as of right now current and Maybe I can give you guys some ideas of what's out there and you guys can check these out and and see what maybe you're interested in picking up some of these copies um, Shameless is a company that's in the UK and they kind of specialize in cult films and some of the rare titles that um, you wouldn't really expect to have DVD or Blu-ray releases of. And we'll start here with this first one is um, Fulci's New York Ripper. This is number one. I'm going to go in order too, so show you guys the spine here. This one is cut. The BBFC cut this one by 34 seconds. It's region zero. I haven't tested it to see if it's region free though. This is a good slasher film from Fulci. I really enjoy this film. It's from 1982. And I put some of my titles in these little plastic sleeves just to kind of protect them a little bit. This one doesn't come with anything on the inside. Some of them have inserts, some of them have books, but and some of them have reversible covers. This is the very first one in the line. They didn't do much with it. There's no reversible cover for this. But they did release this again on another DVD, which you'll see down the road here in a little bit. And they also released this on Blu-ray, which I'll show you at the end. So that is the number one, New York Ripper. Number two is Phantom of Death by Diodato. And this is the uncut for the first time on DVD in the UK. This film came out in 1988, and you can see there's the reversible cover. Next one here is Killer Nun, and they have some pretty funny taglines sometimes here. This one says, at last, the slut is uncut. Father, I've been a murderous whore. This is number three. This movie came out in 1978. And you can see there is the reversible sleeve right there with the alternate title. I'm not sure if that's Italian. That is Killer Nun. Next one here is a pretty gory little slasher film. This is Torso. And here's their little tagline here at the bottom. Where whores meet saws. Uncut. And this movie came out in 1973. This one's an anamorphic widescreen. Fully uncut. And you can see there is the reversible cover right there as well as some stills from the film. Pretty gruesome film, I like it. Next one here is Delamano's Venus in Furs. She's the bitch with the switch. Spy number five. This one came out in 1969. It's also anamorphic widescreen, 16 by 9. There is the reversible cover. This one is cut though. It's the first time on UK DVD, but it is cut by the BBFC. Here is Fulci's The Black Cat. This has since gotten a Blu-ray release from Arrow Video. 
Spy number six. This movie came out in 1981. This one is uncut. Here you can see the alternate cover. I like that one. And you can read that top tagline up there. It purrs, it stalks, it kills the black cat, Lucio Fulci. Next one here is Flavia the Heretic. Play me baby one more time. And this one is finally uncut. This has gotten a Blu-ray release in the U.S. by Scorpion. This movie's from 1974, anamorphic widescreen. See the tagline up there? She launched a river of blood. Next one here is another Fulci film, and this is Manhattan Baby. I like that cover. This movie came out in 1982, anamorphic widescreen. It's still cut. It says uncut, but on the back, I don't know if you guys can read that. I, I think it's still cut by the BBFC. I'm not exactly sure how much was cut out of this one. I don't believe this is the full uncut version here. Decent little film, though. I, I like this film. Manhattan Baby. And the next one here is Aldo Lotto's Night Train Murders, a.k.a. The Late Night Trains. And this has a Blu-ray release by 88 Films. You can see they got another pretty little, funny little tagline down there, Horror Board. This one is uncut. It's a film from 1974, anamorphic widescreen. can see the reversible cover. If there's any titles you guys want to see more of or hear more about, comment below. And the next one here is The Frightened Woman. For a long time I had this on a bootleg DVD copy. She's as kinky as she's slinky. This is spy number 10. This movie came out in 1969. Anamorphic widescreen. And they claim this is fully uncut. And you can see the reversible cover. The Frightened Woman. And the next one here is My Dear Killer, a.k.a. Mio Caro Assassino. It's a Italian slasher film by Tonino Valeri. Fully uncut, where fuzz gets buzzed. Spy number 11. This movie came out in 1972. It's remastered in anamorphic widescreen. For the first time uncut. Next one here is Ratman. There's a pretty funny tagline there at the top. He's the critter from the shitter. Spy number 12. This little guy here, he was only three foot something. He was the smallest actor in the world. He played the Rat Man. See, it's got a really cool... I'm going to show you guys this alternate cover. I meant to uh, switch this one out. I think this cover is pretty cool. is 
rat man and it was spy number 12 Next one here is uh, Delamano's What Have You Done to Your Daughters? I'm sorry, What Have They Done to Your Daughters? It's another Italian slasher. It's got a pretty cool killer, kind of uh, reminiscent to the killer in Amsterdam. Spy number 13. And this film came out in 1974. And this one was cut. It's not the fully uncut version and you can see there's the Italian cover next one here is another film by Aldo Lado this is who saw her die number 14 And this film came out in 1972. It's remastered in widescreen, anamorphic 16 by 9. This one was cut by the BBFC. Good little slasher film. Next one here is The Designated Victim. It's a shameless fan edition. Spy number 15. There you can see the reversible cover. It's a film from 1971, anamorphic widescreen. This one has Tomas Milian in it. And it's uh, this film was inspired by an Alfred Hitchcock story. Strangers on a Train. So that is the designated victim. Good film. Next one here is Andrea Bianchi's Strip Nude for Your Killer. Spine 16. And this one was released, this movie came out in 1975. This is the anamorphic widescreen. And Andrea Bianchi also directed Burial Ground, which was an Italian zombie flick. Pretty good movie. Next one here is Umberto Lenzi's Oasis of Fear, aka Dirty Pictures. It has Ray Lovelock in it. Spine 17. It's got a pretty cool reversible cover there. I like that. This movie came out in 1971, anamorphic widescreen. This is the uncut edition here. The next one is Watch Me When I Kill by Antonio Beto. Spine 18. This movie came out in 1977, and it is uh, restored, anamorphic widescreen with English audio, and some of these Italian slashers are some of the best movies you'll see. I, I really enjoy the uh, atmosphere and the uh, creative kills and stuff like that. Watch me when I kill. Next one here is Baba Yaga, The Final Cut. This one also has a Blu-ray release, I believe, from Scorpion. Spine number 19. This film came out in 1973. And it is remastered in 16 by 9 There is the reversible sleeve right there. Here's Luigi Bazzoni's Footprints on the Moon. 
She can remember only fear. First time on DVD worldwide. I don't think this got a Blu-ray release yet from anybody. It's by number 20. It's a film that came out in 1975. One of the uh, lead actresses that played in Flavia the Heretic is also in this movie here. So that is Footprints on the Moon. The next one here is probably one of my favorites in the Shameless catalog, and this is the Bronx Warriors Trilogy by Enzo Castellari. And this is a tin box that these uh, three movies come in. And it's spine number 21. And you can see the three movies that come inside the box here. All three are in anamorphic widescreen. I think they're uncut too. Let me see. Okay. 21.1 is the Bronx Warriors. And it's from 1982, remastered. There's the alternate cover, which is pretty cool. The next one is Escape from the Bronx, part two in the trilogy. Came out in 1983. There you can see the reverse. And the third one in the trilogy is The New Barbarians. Came out in 1983. Pretty good little post-apocalyptic post type movies. I enjoy them. That is the Bronx Warriors trilogy. And the next one up here is Joe D'Amato's Love Goddess of the Cannibals, starring Serpa Lane, who was also in The Beast. It's by number 22. The movie came out in 1978. And it was, this movie is cut. Here's the reversible cover. The next one is Satan's Baby Doll. I know this has a Blu-ray release in the U.S. I can't remember who put it out. I think it was uh, Twilight Time. Spy number 23. Yeah, there's the Italian cover, La Bimba de Satana. The movie came out in 1983. It's, uh, this one is in Italian language, but it has English subtitles. It's remastered in anamorphic widescreen. And it is cut. This is not the uncut edition here. Another Serpa Lane, and this is The Beast in Space, a sequel to The Beast, a loosely based sequel. And this is number 24. This one is also cut from 1980. It is Italian language with English subtitles, remastered widescreen, 16 by 9. There's the reversible cover. Here's another favorite of mine in the Shameless catalog. This is Fulci's Box of Terror. Shameless, I don't know if you guys can pick that up. It says number 28. Comes with the New York Ripper, Manhattan Baby, and the Black Cat. Really love this box set. I think it's pretty cool. If 
I remember correctly, there's not really many special features on this, just some trailers. Okay, here is the shameless fan edition of the New York Ripper. Cover is a little bit different. Spine 29. And this is All Region. The movie came out in 1982. It has English, Italian, French, German, and Spanish audio. And it also has removable subtitles. It's uh, remastered, 16 by 9 widescreen. And you can see, I'm going to pull this cover out and show you guys the reverse. This one has a little, like a little leaflet, a little booklet here about Fulci. Maestro Fulci. Pull out the uh, reversible cover here and show you guys. It's the Italian title with the original cover that was on the very first edition that I showed you guys earlier. Okay, moving along here, we have uh, The Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward, Sergio Martino. This was released on No Shame on DVD in the U.S. Spine number 30. And you can see there's the reversible cover. Kind of a shadowy figure with holding a knife. This movie came out in 1971. It has English and Italian audio. It's remastered 16 by 9 anamorphic widescreen. And it is cut. Strange Vice of Mrs. Ward. Next one here is Diodato's Cannibal Holocaust. Spine 31. And this one is cut. Came out in 1980. Does have English and Italian audio, and it has removable English subtitles. It's remastered in 16 by 9. And you can see the reversible cover right there. This also was released by Shameless on Blu-ray, which I'll show you guys at the end. This is Umberto Lenzi's Almost Human, and it has a lenticular cover. And this is spine number 32. The movie came out in 1974. It does have English and Italian audio. It's remastered in widescreen. This one is cut. And you can see there's the reversible cover, as well as some stills from the film. Here is the same title, just released with a different cover. This is the Shameless Fan Edition. It's 32.1. This Almost Human was Spine 32, and this is 32.1. Same film. 1974, starring Tomas Milian, who was also in Designated Victim. And this one does have English and Italian audio, and it's remastered in widescreen. Next one here is Fulci's Don't Torture a Duckling. Spine number 33. This one does come with the collector's booklet, but I have not opened this edition yet. I do have this on Blu-ray. This is just uh, a collector's piece of my collection. I'm not going to open it. But you can see it does come with a, I don't know, like a four or five page booklet. Movie came out in 1972, and it does have English and Italian audio, and it is remastered in widescreen. And here's another Diodato film. This is The House on the Edge of the Park. This was one of the 
slasher nasties. Video nasties that were banned in the UK. This is from 1980. There's them widescreen and there's the reversible cover. The house on the edge of the park. The next one here is Four Flies on Gray Velvet by Argento. And I do have this on, they also released this on Blu-ray and I'll show you that at the end. They have a pretty nice media book from Germany with this film too, it's a pretty nice edition. This is spine number 35. There's the, that's the original cover right there. I don't know if you guys can make that out. It's a pretty cool little uh, practical effect there, that little gore scene with the eyeball. It's a um, 1971 film. And this one is cut by the BBFC. And here is Cemetery Man, a.k.a. Della Morte Della More, starring Rupert Everett. This film. This is a, a good little film here. Spine 36. This one does come with the booklet. Maybe I'll pop this one open and show you guys. Personal memoir by Alan Jones about Della Morte, Della More, aka the Cemetery Man. Next one up here is Dick Moss's Amsterdam. I, I enjoy this film. It's got a pretty unique killer. You can see that he's got scuba gear. There's his uh, killer mask and there's spine number 37. This movie came out in 1988 and it does have original Dutch and English audio plus removable subtitles and it is remastered in widescreen. And you can see it has a pretty cool reversible cover. Good film, I recommend this one, Amsterdam. Here's Pupi Avati's The House with Laughing Windows. Spine number 38. And this one came out in 1976 with only Italian audio, but it does have English subtitles. And it is a widescreen transfer. And I do have this uh, media book as well, and you can see that there's the reversible cover, which was the original cover with the original Italian title. And you can see that's the Italian title right there. I'm not going to try to pronounce all that, but... Next one here is Ursula Andress in The Nurse. Striporama Action Sleeve. Spine number 39. Movie is from 1975. Comes with English audio and Italian audio. And it does have English subtitles and it is in widescreen. This movie's cut by the BBFC. This is the 101 minute version. The next one here is Viva by Anna Biller with Orgy Orama action sleeve spine number 40 and this movie came out in 2008 it's kind of a, a throwback style filming here made to look like it was filmed in the 70s and it does have English audio and it is filmed in widescreen and this is the uncut edition here Contains strong sex and nudity. The 
next one here is Alberto De Martino's Formula for Murder, aka Seven Hyden Park. I think this also had a release in the US under the No Shame label. And you got David Warbeck as the killer. And you can see he's wearing a, a rain slicker. In this particular edition here, this is spine number 41. And it actually comes with a rain slicker, but I'm not going to open that up. I kept it sealed up in the bag. And this was limited to a thousand copies, and I have number 2,000, or I'm sorry, 276. Formula for Murder. Another Fulci film called Contraband. This one is one of his lesser known titles. This one has a pretty cool lenticular. You can see where the uh, back of his head is exploding. I love that cover. Spine 43. It does have a nice reversible cover. And this one came out in 1980. Widescreen. This was limited to 1,000. I have number 484. This one's also known as The Smuggler. And the next one here is number 44. And this is The Washing Machine, and it comes in a little tin case. It's a Diodato film, and it's supposed to look like a washing machine. I think they really did a good job on this. It doesn't come with any inserts or anything, but the, the novelty of this little tin is pretty fun, so they don't need to have a insert or anything with this one. It's got really cool cover art there on the disc to look like somebody's getting... well there was a, there was a scene in the movie where the killer put the uh, victim in the washing machine and you can see the seam right there. This movie came out in 1993 and it does have English audio and it is in widescreen but it's cut by the BBFC Next one here is called The Sister of Ursula, Italian slasher, 45 on the spine. This one was limited to 2,000, and I have number 203 out of 2,000. Here's one of the, uh, the lead actress played in Suspiria. Her name was, uh, what was it, Barbara Magnolfi. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. This movie came out in 1978. It does have English audio. I'm sorry, it has Italian audio, but English subtitles. And it is in widescreen, but it's cut. The next one here is my most recent acquisition to the Shameless Catalog collection that I have. And this is um, Top Sensation, a.k.a. The Seducers. I haven't even opened this one yet. This is number 46. And it's limited to 2,000. I got number 49. You can see the uh, reversible cover right there. Next one here is a Blu-ray DVD combo but it's in a DVD sized case. This is called The Tenth Victim, starring Ursula Andress, and it has a lenticular. She's shooting out of her upper garment. She's shooting the uh, target. And this is spine number 500. The film came out in 1965, has English and Italian audio. It's cut. This is the 88 minute 30 second version here of the film. And I have number 1104 out of 2000. Now these next four are box sets. And this one here is pretty cool. It's made to look like a VHS tape with the label. And it's a uh, Slasher Nasties Triple Bill. It comes with Torso, Night Train Murders, and Killer Nun. You can see the little rental stickers and the ratings logo. 
And the good thing about these is they all come on their own disc. So there's three discs inside here. Night Train Murders, Killer Nun, and Torso. And it comes with a little booklet here. It does have a reversible cover too. I think that one just does not have the ratings logo. The next one here is called the Shameless Sexploitation Triple Bill. It's also, I think it's also made to look like a VHS. No, this one doesn't. This one comes with Love Cannibal, or uh, Love Goddess of the Cannibals, Satan's Baby Doll, and The Beast in Space. This one does come like it comes with like a Betamax look to it here. And these each come on their own discs as well. Always a plus when they don't try to cram everything onto one or two discs. Next one here is called the Pop Erotica Fest. And this one has Venus and Furs, Baba Yaga, and the Frightened Woman. And this is supposed to look like a video compact cassette. There you can see the spine. Each on their own disc. And the last DVD, I, have, I do have three Blu-rays to show after this, but this is the last DVD. This is Diodato's Cinema of Death. This comes with Cannibal Holocaust, The House at the Edge of the Park, and Phantom of Death. Shameless Triple Bill. There you can see Deodato. And it does have a reversible sleeve, which I'm not going to pull it out, but I'll just show you guys the three discs. And finally, the three Blu-rays here. This is number one. This is the New York Ripper. I do recommend grabbing this one. The transfer looks great. I think this is a good movie. It's an all-around solid edition. Everybody should have this in their collection. It comes with that same booklet. This one actually didn't come with a booklet, but it was supposed to come with the same booklet that came in the Fulci box set. And that was spy number one for the Blu-rays. Spy number two on the Blu-ray was Cannibal Holocaust, another good movie. This has been released by, uh, in the U.S., by uh, Grindhouse Releasing. Really nice edition there, which I own that one as well. And the last one here is Four Flies on Grey Velvet, spine number three. This is the 40th anniversary edition. I recommend grabbing all three of these Blu-rays if you can grab them. Spine three. So there you have it, guys. That was my shameless collection, shameless entertainment. Hope I gave you guys some ideas. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and take care.